Hello friends, today I'm going to talking about main engine injector replacement. We have VinDG engine on board. VinGD having an advanced technology injection system. It called direct control injection valve. Before I start remove the injector, let's pay attention to safety. The turning gear should be engaged. Loop oil pump should be stopped. Make sure that there is no pressure in the fuel rail. Set to off the electrical tracing heating system also. On the applicable high pressure injection pipe, disconnect the electrical connection, then remove the pipe bracket. Afterwards, the injector valve four screw need to be removed and other in also having four screw that also take it out. End of this video, I will explain with photos how this direct controlled injection well is working. So next, uh, carefully we have to remove the high pressure injection pipe from the injection valve and the flow limit valve. Injector can remove from the cylinder head with the help of the tow bar. CCM control connection wire should be removed. After taking out the injector from the cylinder head, we brought to the workshop. I took some few photos when we were doing a job. So I have an update on this video. You can see the uh, pictures how it was dirty, the carbon deposited on the nozzle. After cleaning finish, we took same injector to test. So now you guys can see how we are testing the injector. Put the injection valve in position in the valve holder. Make sure that the injection valve points down. Attach the injection valve to the valve holder with the sprint cage and allen screw then attached to the high pressure hose to the connection piece also solenoid valve connection also need to be connected to the uh, testing device
switch on this device we have to uh, turn on the power so air valve also need to be open data in the manufacturer's instruction to set the pressure of the testing bench to the 600 bar and wait in uh, one minute you can check whether pressure is dropping or not if pressure is not dropping uh, push the injection button make sure the make sure that injection valve operate correctly then lower the pressure we have to find out which is the lowest uh, pressure it is given good uh, atomization Uh, finally we got the uh, well opening pressure is 547 so uh, well is injection well is uh, good for using again so guys uh, finally I will explain how is the direct control injection well is working the injection wells are installed in the the cylinder cover of each cylinder three injectors the injection wells spray the fuel into the combustion chamber the ECS control the solenoid valve and thus the pilot valves of the injection valves this controls the timing and the quantity of the injected fuel related to the power when the pilot valve opens the high pressure of the, the supplied fuel open the needle into the nozzle body this let the fuel flow through the hole in the nozzle tip into the combustion chamber as a spray. When the pilot valve close, the fuel pressure close the needle again. A small quantity of control fuel flow from the pressurized Annular grooves through the drain pipe to the plant overflow tank. So friends, I have explained about direct control injection valve, uh, which is very important points. So now we have reached end of this uh, video. Thanks for watching my video and please uh, subscribe my channel.